All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to my happy hour live stream of Europa Universalis 4, where we are in the El Dorado DLC playing as the Incan Empire, formerly Cusco. We won our war in the last episode with Dutch La Plata. We took two other provinces. We're now dealing with the Protestants there. Hmm, heretics. They should be converted to the proper Inti religion, which I am attempting to do. It's going to take a long, long time to do that, though. Oh boy, and this one, currently, we can't we can't do anything with them at all, so we'll have to see. Uh, on uh, a note for th things happening in the rest of the world, Rio de Prata and Portuguese Brazil, they did not win their uh, independence wars, so they're back with Portugal, which means I burned that bridge with Portugal for nothing. Oh boy, I regret that now, but France likes us, so I'm thinking maybe we'll make friends with them today. I'm unsure about that in total at the moment. Ooh. Tuscany declared war on Venice. Who are their other allies? Corsica, Aragon, Tuscany, and Brunei? S seriously? <laughs> Hold on a moment. Do you have... Do you have stuff over here? Hold on, zoom in. You're both blue. Uh, no, that's all Brunei. Oh, there. Right there. Right there in the middle. <laughs> One French province there. Oh my god, that's wonderful. Okay. Uh, French Louisiana is their colonial nation. Lovely. Failed administrate. Oh, son of a bitch. Really? Really? God, I hate stability loss events. They're always just such cheap events. I hate them to death. All right. Well, let's... Oh, God. I don't want to increase my stability again. I can't increase my stability again. Fair enough. Which actually reminds me. Let's go back to the capital. Have we finished building... Yes, we finished building the university, so let's do the Fine Arts Center that'll make stability cost cheaper. And I've got the freaking money to do it, so no skin off my back there. All right, let's head back to... Wait, hold on. Go back to Cusco. Did I forget to build... I did. I meant to build a better fort there ages ago, but I kept forgetting. Hmm. Great Britain declared... Blah, blah, blah. Great Britain declared war on the Mistech. Now that I can actually properly speak, all right. Uh, ooh, oh no, my my friends here are in trouble. I should send some forces. Oh god, all of my forces are way down here. Hold on a moment. What's this event? Oh yeah, I'm gonna take the base tax. I like money. <laughs> money is key to all. All right, let's go help the Arawak up here. Though by the time my military gets there, the war will probably be over. Arawak pretender rebels. Hmm. Oh god, that reminds me. Don't I have a mission for something? San Juan is... Oh, Mapuche doesn't exist anymore. I completely forgot about that mission. Alright, well let's va or annex these guys. I don't really need them anyways. They're just a crappy little three. So there we go. Annex them. Lovely. And we'll get their three soldiers, which is always nice. Let's build some more ships. Because I need a better navy. Uh, let's build ten more... Caravels, I'll split them between the two navies that I have. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And then I'll build from the south here to separate them. Three, four, and five. There we go. Excellent. I'll add those to my two fleets, so that'll be good. We still need to make many, many more ships. How on my military stuff? We still can build much larger armies. I should. Uh, yeah, we'll do that at some point. Let's take a look at my army composition I currently have. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bum. I'm liking this 1262. It seems to be a pretty decent little army stack. So, yeah, let's... Hmm. Yes, yeah, so let's do that. Let's build another one of these armies. It is 20. Oh, God. Do we have enough for... We don't. We don't. Maybe I'll make... A small 10 stack. Maybe. What the hell? Who, wait, who was that ship? Hold on. Whales? Whales? <laughs> oh my god, please tell me Whales is going to colonize up here some... Oh no, they couldn't. That, there is nowhere to colonize there. Oh god, Castile, why do you have so many things? I hate you so much. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. All right, there's all of our ships. Let's select those. That's five. Let's have them combined there. Uh, you guys.
is, I'll combine here where that last one will be built. And then, yeah, we'll just wait. You guys go to... Lima 1, you'll eventually combine with the other fleet. You go to... Kuiba, whatever, however the hell you pronounce that. Oh boy, alright. Alright, they've already combined themselves, so that is good. We have attack. Do I want to do this? Th oh god, early frigate, that'd probably be good. And global settler increase, yeah, let's do that. Oh yes, I was saying that I was going to take one of those techs and now I'm going to do some idea groups. So yeah, we'll take one idea group from or one idea from each of the groups I'm currently working on. So then a military or a uh, admin idea and then a exploration idea. Royal marriage from Arawak. Excellent. We will take that. Charka has some rebel issues. Oh, Charka, I already moved my army. <laughs> All right. Oh, God. So many truces expiring everywhere. Okay. Well, let's send them down now. What the? Why is there a Portuguese army there in Charka? <laughs> what the? What? Hi. <laughs> I don't I don't understand. Okay. Koro has been finished. Caracas. Oh, God. If we take that, we're going to be in... Yeah, you know, in right there up against uh, New Granada. Eh, what the hell? I want the coast. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> Let's send a diplomat over to them. Yeah, they could use it. Negative five relations with them at the moment. All right. Unpause. Let's actually improve our relations with France, because yeah, I'm still thinking we might, we might take them up on that. Improve relations. Are you at war? Venice now. The Tuscan Conquests of Medina. Interesting. Interesting. Ooh, Tuscany, you are getting big. Oh my god, France has Venice? Oh, no, no, it's just a similar blue. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, no, that's Aquila. Oh, yeah. Huh. Interesting, there is no actual Venice anymore. Very cool. Fair enough, then. Ooh, integrating Mapuche. We finished. Beautiful. There we go. We got the prestige from that. All right. We've, of course, removed Mapuche from the map. So let's see on national decisions. Anything fun? Uh, bum, 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 bum. Eh. No, no. All right. Let's see. Improved defenses. That's always an easy one to do. Fortify Guajira. Incorporate Arawak into our country. I kind of like having Arawak around. They're only one province minor, but they've got some good tech, so no. Let's do Fortify Kujira. Oh boy. Where the hell are you? <laughs> Is that one of the recent ones that I just built? Ah, yes, excellent. I probably should be doing that anyway, so let's build that. Easy enough mission. Shrine to Viracoca. All right, lose money, tolerance of true faith, or gain prestige. I'll go with the prestige. Political crisis. Oh, son of a bitch. This is going to be a stability thing, isn't it? Lose one stability or lose legitimacy. Ah, uh, my legitimacy already sucks. Hmm, but, no, oh, no, screw it. I don't want to lose stability. We'll take the legitimacy hit. That's going to cause some unrest, but, yeah. oh, well, what are you going to do? And, yeah, that Portuguese army is still there in Charca. That is... That is confusing. <laughs> Dutch La Plata, how you guys doing? You still hate me? Yeah, yeah, you still hate me. How is Holland doing anyways? Let's go take a look at them. Oh, they have some rebellion issues right now. <laughs> oh man, oh yeah. Yeah, that's not good. Occupied by Dutch peasants. So that's not gonna go well for them, but haha, <laughs> Dutch, that's what you get. I do have those colonies up there in North America though. 13 colonies grown quite big. New Norway. I still love that we have that. A Norwegian Florida. That is just beautiful. I don't know why it entertains me so much, but it does. Alrighty. New Granada starting to like me a bit more. New Castile. Let's send a diplomat over to them. Send that. 
Relations with France keep going up. They are friendly towards me, which is always nice to see. And what else should I do? Oh, we got this next idea. So we took the next admin idea. Excellent. Next, we take an exploration idea. And I actually think I'm going to do two exploration ideas. Put back Diplotech a little bit, because that's not too bad. Oh, God, what are all these things? Self-sustaining colony. Always good. Ah, excellent. So we can finish off this last coastal province we have here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, local unrest. I'll go with the local unrest. <laughs> all right. Missionary is only 10% of the way to converting these Protestants here. Oh, boy. <laughs> that is going to take freaking forever. Uh, Prove legitimacy. Have that at 100. Oh, that's never going to get to 100. Uh, improved defenses. Oh, God, oh, God, it changed on us. On Mendoza. All right, we'll take that. Was that the one that was just finished? No. No. Of course not. The one up here. Oh, God. We're going to have to use the finder. Uh, bu 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 bum. Man. I'm not saying it. Am I looking at the right one? Du -du 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 -du. Scroll down. Oh, God. There's so many. Add the N. That should shorten it up a bit. Oh, God. Nope. Oh, nope. That's an F. Not. <laughs> uh, Mendoza. Oh, God. I was looking in entirely the wrong place. Oh, yeah, that was Mapuche. No, no, that wasn't Mapuche. San Juan was Mapuche. All right, well, we'll build a... Oh, no, they want a star fort. Yeah, fair enough. All right. I can work with it. Okay, so... Oh! Karan Revolt! Uh, bu -bu -bu -bum. Nine Nationalists and Quagwil. That was one of the new provinces up here, wasn't it? Again, I should just search for these things. You know what? We're going to do it, though. We're going to do the nationalists. What the hell? <laughs> it's not like I'm hurting for armies. I actually have an army. No, no. My army's down here. Yes. I sent this one to help Charka with its rebels. So let's just go make them smash this one. And we should be good. Let's actually put our... Oh, let's, let's do our... I completely forgot that I did this. Our conquistador on this one, so we'll go and attack that army and then finally go and explore this area here. Oh my god, the one province I haven't explored for all these hundreds of years now. The Cuscos and then the Incans have had this mysterious mountain range that they just fear to go into, apparently. <laughs> oh god, okay. Alright, it's going to take a while for that army to get up there, but... Uh, all right, okay. And Karib, what the hell? Seriously, move your army over here. Oh, God, Karib. You bother me, man. You bother me. I'm actually kind of tempted to make Arawak a marsh so that they could have some new or some more uh, manpower. They get a manpower boost from being a marsh. I am tempted by that. Nobles demand privilege. Oh, God, and coffee. Ooh, coffee. Excellent. I could use some of that right now. Oh, uh, fine. We'll lose the prestige. Damn it. <laughs> I'm just losing prestige all over the place tonight. And stability, which is never a good thing. Uh, Portugal announced Inca as their... Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. France? Hi. <laughs> We're going to make friends. Hello. Let's offer an alliance to you. Okay, there we go. Yes, France is our ally now. Lovely. Oh, uh, damn it, Portugal. <laughs> damn it. <laughs> Just had to be a pain in the ass, didn't you? I was hoping we could make friends again. Man, I regret that decision the other uh, on the last stream. That was a poor, poor decision. All right, well. Damn, might as well make them my rivals then. <laughs> there we go. That can only end poorly for me. What the hell? I'll make Castile them a rival as well. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm what the hell. Let's go out with a bang. Let's go out with a bang. All right. We destroyed those rebels quite nicely. Go and explore that one freaking province now. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, boy. I'm not too, uh, too annoyed by it anyways because we aren't actually, sadly, going to be playing this particular game for too much longer because next month we do get 
the new expansion, which I'll be moving over to that one then. Which then we're going to be in Europe. Ooh, that's actually a pretty... Oh, man, that's actually a pretty nice province. Huh. <laughs> All right. National Bank in trouble. Really? No, it's not. <laughs> We've got a crap load of money. Okay, so lose money or gain inflation. Eh, I'll lose the money. <laughs> eh, it doesn't really bother me too much. I've got crap loads of it. All right. So let's move this army... Well, with Portugal as our enemy now, let's move them down to our capital. And that should be good. I don't really need to explore anywhere else. We will build a colony on this one now, then. Now that I know that it's a three-tax base, man, I wish I would have remembered to explore that ages ago. All right, next mission. Uh, achieve religious unity. You know, I'd love to do that, and I'm going to work towards that, but I'm not going to take that as a mission. Because I still don't know if I'll ever be able to re remember it, do anything with this one. No, we still can't. Still 0% chance due to the following. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. I need 0.4 more missionary strength to ever do anything with them. So even if I build the next forts, I'd have to build all the way through the special buildings, which I, I'll i never reach that tech level. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Well, I'll never be achieving religious unity now. That's unfortunate. You're going to get a temple then. <laughs> Make the monies. All right. Actually, on that note, is there anything else? No, because the only... Which, again, I still don't understand this. Why does walls give you more missionary strength? <laughs> and why does a temple make you money? Sh shouldn't that be, like, the other way around or something? Or I don't know. Oh, uh, boy. All right. Let's see. Any other temples? Yes. Build those. Make even more cash. <laughs> We're already making more cash than we can physically spend. So make more. It's always the way to go. We're probably going to end up having to buy a crap load of merc mercenaries at some point anyway soon. Ooh, I can build another 10. Would that be helpful to me? I have 320 stacks. Yeah, let's build... Let's turn this little 3 army here that we got from a pooch into a 15 stack. How should I organize a 15 stack? Two cannons, obviously, so let's build them two cannons. We should do that. And that'll put us to the 13, and we'll want... Yeah, we'll do four horses and nine infantry. So I need six more infantry. One... Oh, God, click. Damn the autosave. Two, three, four, five, six. So six, nine, eleven, then the, the... What did I say? Three, three horses? <laughs> that sounds right. There we go. And that should be a f nice little 15-stack army, which will be good. We definitely need more armed forces, since we're probably going to be going to war with Rio de Prata here soon. Well, Portugal, and through extension, them. But yeah, that's always, that's always fun. Any new missions? No. Can't I send, like, my army down there just to, like, wipe out all the Protestants in this? <laughs> no, no, that wouldn't be good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we're going to focus on text next. We get a new cannon. Oh, oh, everyone's built. Okay, there we go. Oh, God, all the damn pop-ups. Pause. Let me organize my army here. <laughs> there we go. Everyone converge. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, I'd really love to achieve religious unity, but that is never going to happen with this one. Really wish I could just, like, wipe out all of the people in the province and start anew. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I'm one short. How am I only at 14? <laughs> Damn it. I miscalculated. Oh, I was going to build four cavalry. I thought I was only going to build three. All right, well, one more cavalry right on top of it. There we go. Excellent. And France, my friend, how are you doing over here? You still at war? Yeah. Choctaw and Cherokee now? Okay, fair enough. Alliance, enemy of enemies. So that gives us good bonuses. All right, and how is my diplomatic relations at the moment? Da, 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 da. Five of five. If I absorb Chimu, we could have another, and it might be good to make another ally. 
perhaps? Perhaps Great Britain? Be hilarious to... Oh, no, they won't ally. <laughs> Negative 136. Oh, yeah, they're my rival. I forgot about that. Hmm. <laughs> Austria? <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe the Commonwealth? They seem big and powerful. They could... They could probably take Castile, at least here in Europe. <laughs> Alrighty. Yes, next military tech. Beautiful. Which, of course, gives us a new cannon. The leather cannon. Interesting. Fair enough, though. Fair enough. I'm not one to judge. And, yeah. I'm kind of liking the idea of making Arawak a marsh. Designate... Oh, pause, pause, pause. Yeah, let's make them a marsh. So that'll give them manpower modifier, manpower recovery speed, force limit modifier, naval force limit modifier, fort defense. Yeah, let's do that. I'll make less money from them, but they'll be a stronger military. Oh, dear. Sweet Jesus. What the hell? <laughs> Everyone wants autonomy. I'll lose the stability. Screw you guys. Provincial unrest. At <laughs> Tunja has a provincial unrest of 0, 0.0. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I'm so worried. All right. Stability modifier. There we go. We're good again. We're good again. Any overextension? I do. The colonies that I keep forgetting to core every freaking time. All right. Okay. Who could I make as another ally that would be useful? Sweden? Negative five? No. <laughs> Enemy of the enemy, the real big thing they got against me is because they have a cast of spell. Why do you have a cast of spell eye? Hold on a moment. <laughs> I'll click through those. What do you have a cast of spell eye against me for? Uh, imperialism is what I'm betting. Oh, God, I don't want to look for my name in there. <laughs> look at all of those for imperialism. I bet it's imperialism, though. All right, okay. Mamluk, civil war. Good for them, I guess. Maybe. Fight the power, etc. Gandar cores. Beautiful. 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 And let's see. Do we have any new missions? No. Oh my god. We're never gonna get this one. <laughs> we have point one. It's gonna... Oh my freaking god. It's gonna take till 1756 to convert this province. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, October of 1756. That is a waste of freaking time and money. Holy crap. I have Animus provinces? What? Oh, no. That's just my tolerance to heretics. <laughs> I was about to say, I was like, shouldn't it show in here then? No? Oh, who's... Who wants provincial unrest? Protestant zealots. Yeah, screw you. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, that's going to be a problem up here. Yeah, that is unfortunate. I cannot do a damn thing. You know what? We're going to... God, 1750. You know what? Screw it. Screw it. <laughs> I'm going to deal with it. We'll build another star fort, though. All right, we'll do that. Idea. Yeah, we'll take this, then we'll wait for another Diplo idea. Which should be good. Yes, yes. That should be useful. All right. Great Britain declared war on Tlaxcala. Fair enough. Uh, what was I? I was going to do something earlier. What was it? It's something with... I wanted to look at a map mode. But which was it? <laughs> uh, local autonomy? No. Economic map mode. That's what I wanted to do. There we go. All right, base tax there. Man, we make a lot of base tax in Cusco. That's real good. Got a pretty diverse little area. Not bad. Not bad at all. God, I want the Panama. <laughs> we need to go to war with British Columbia. Okay, I really want Panama. Look at all that base tax there. Plus the trade value you could get. And if I had the tech level, I could make the Panama Canal. <laughs> uh... Yeah. Oh, self-sustaining colony. That's perfect. So I was going to move you here next. Excellent. Ooh, who's gotten all these? Dutch West Indies. Oh, my. So they're screwed in Europe, but they do seem to be doing some decent colonizing. Good on them. Good on them. 
Oh, unpause from things, and let's see. Buildings, buildings, temples. Always gotta make them temples. Alright. I say we're doing pretty good at the moment. We're almost at our ship force limit. I probably should build some more of those. Local autonomy. Oh. Military engineer, huh? Now, take the local defensiveness. Okay, so you. Only 555 months now to convert that place. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry, that is... Uh, the religion system in this game always annoys me. I, I, I say it like every couple of episodes, but it really does annoy me. It is just such a pain in the ass. So I'll never, I'll never understand why it works like it does. It, it makes no sense to me with how it does work. Uh, but oh well. So the local unrest is increasing it, so that's not good. That's actually a pretty big increase to it. I did not know that local unrest increased it, but I guess that does not That one, that one actually makes sense to me. But the goods produced in the local tax modifier does not make sense to me why that affects it. Uh, bu -bu -bu it will actually take some yearly prestige. That'd be nice. Uh, ooh, actually, I kind of want that. Yeah, mercenary maintenance. That'll make our armies cheaper. All right, then we'll do the next admin tech. Ooh, military. We get infantry and cavalry next level. Beautiful. That is glorious. Uh, we do have a little overextension. Make that a core. I'd like to. Wait, why can't I make that one? Oh, because I built a building there. That's why. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I just immediately built a temple instead of coring it. Oh, but the camp temple's finished now. There we go. So that's good. Castile declared war on Marathas. Who the crap is that? Oh, they're conquering more of... In oh my god, Portugal's in India too. Wow. Wow. I'm sorry, India. <laughs> Oh my god, Castile and Portugal are just rolling through this map. That is insane. Oh boy. Well, that's not going to be good for us. I think next episode we need to go to war with someone. We're, we're doing quite nicely, you know, consolidating our forces today after our war with Dutch La Plata. But we, we seriously need to start thinking about warring a bit more. The Dutch Patriots... Gained a corn province, that's always good. Poor payments? The hell are you talking about, poor payments? Oh, it actually makes the mercenary cost cheaper. Oh, that's beautiful. It means I make even more money. <laughs> Not that I need any more, but hey, I'll take it. See, I'm thinking maybe we go to war with... Ooh, self-sustaining colony. I'm thinking we go to war with British Columbia. I think that'd be fun. All right, so let's move him up here. Take this crappy province. Core you... Yeah, I want Panama. I want Panama dearly. <laughs> so I say we take it. We take it by force. Let's... Yeah, let's uh, go ahead and start the process on that. Let us... No, not dynastic options. Covert actions. Let's fabricate a claim. We'll fabricate claim on... Yeah, Cartagena. I think that'll be good. Oh, and oh, yeah, Doc Madness, you are real late. I'm about to finish the stream, as a matter of fact. <laughs> okay, so we've started making a claim on that province there. So next week's episode, uh, we will go to war with British Columbia, because I want freaking Panama. <laughs> I want it. It will be mine. Who all is England allies with again? Eh, Munster, not too worried about them. Milan, not too worried about them. Cree, definitely not worried about them. England, though, is pretty powerful. I'm hoping France joins in on the war with us there. That would be a good thing. If they do. They're currently at war with someone, so I'm going to have to wait, I think, until they're not at war with anyone. <laughs> or wait until Great Britain is at war with someone. One of the two would be a good thing. But yes, that is actually going to be it for the stream this week, my friends. I hope you have all enjoyed. And of course, that you come back for next week's stream, Sundays, 9 p.m. Eastern. And if you missed any of it, you can always check it out on YouTube after the fact on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, but yeah, I hope you have enjoyed and that you do come back next week. But until then, thank you for watching, my friends. And as always...
have a good one. <laughs>